Hello, everybody. This is Greg29407, back with another episode of City of Heroes. Well, here we are with Termite, our plant and nature uh, controller, and we are in Striga Island. Uh, tonight, our super group is going to go ahead and do their Ernest, the Ernesto Hess Task Force. We're going to be getting ready to do it in just a few minutes. But what I wanted to do was, uh, you know, last time we got together, um, I had a lot of endurance problems. And uh, I wasn't even able to keep my temporary invulnerability going. I was running out of endurance. And, you know, my, my main problem is I, I was spamming, spamming roots, which I love using. Um, but it is a kind of a pricey one. But what I've done since then is I went ahead and uh, made some purchases. And uh, let's see what roots is costing me anyway. I've got, a, I've got an endurance in here right now. It's not very high, though. It's, uh, it's still 9.85 endurance cost every time I, I spam it. So I need to, boot, I need to get some... Uh, enhancement sets here. But uh, what I did do was I went to into the uh, auction house and I went ahead and got a performance shifter chance for endurance, which is a, a, um, is a minor chance for gaining more uh, endurance and as well as a performance shifter endurance modification. So these two are going to give me improvement to my movement speed, which is nice, but primarily it's going to, to boost up my endurance is a decent amount. Uh, it's a it's, uh, it uh, uh, happens like one and a half times per minute, and you do get a, a boost in endurance. I also uh, re-slotted my health. I went and this, this cost me a lot of money. Um, I went ahead and got the regenerative uh, tissue unique. Uh, this boosts my regeneration rate uh, 25% all the time. I got the miracle unique, which boosts my recovery of endurance by 15%. And I got the Numina's Convalescence Unique. And that's going to boost my regeneration by 20% and my recover, endurance recovery by another 10%. So those, these three cost me a lot of money. But I think they're going to really, really be worth it. So let me show what that ends up being. So here's my regeneration right now, 0.77. And that includes this 0.5. 10 boost for regenerative tissue and 0.08 for con numinous convalescence. Uh, the boosts are based on the base level. Recovery rate, though, look at this 2.81. Uh, I got the miracle recovery 0.25, the numinous convalescence 0.17, so that boosted me up quite a bit. I had um, 2. Point, uh, well, I got 0. Uh, 0.42 addition, so at 2.39. Uh, before so that's, that should boost me up quite a bit that should help out a lot tonight i'm going to try and do less spamming of roots too it's <laughs> i just love that power it's so helpful and i see all those orange numbers it's just very exciting i'm going to try and do a little bit better on that tonight and see how how that things go uh, if that doesn't work well enough it's because of the way i'm playing and uh, we're at 46 now when we hit 50 and we can start doing our um uh, incarnates then i'm going to definitely go for the I think it's a cardiac that boosts up your endurance. I'll do the, the endurance boosting thing so I can uh, have unlimited endurance. So we'll be right back as soon as the team gets together and uh, we get ready to, to start with the Ernesto Hess Task Force. Be right back. Okay, we have our we have two teams going tonight. Uh, we have a team of seven, and another team is with seven people too in our in our ta in our um, uh, super group. So our first mission we have to defeat all villains in the factory. Um, Ernesto Hess is our contact in this story arc, and there's, he says there's some mighty strange things going on in the council, and uh, we need to, to get to the bottom of this. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, let me uh, go ahead and get my fly trap up. And there are nine missions in this story arc. I think it's a fairly short one. We get to, we're going to get like 19 reward merits. So I think it's a, a fairly short one. We'll, we will see. Try and uh, resist the urge to uh, hit roots every five seconds. Uh oh. Get 
hell though. This, uh, this factory with all these uh, robots and soldiers and stuff. They're fairly little. Ooh, there's a lot of guys down there, though. We're going to find two schematics. We want to fight first here. Right down here, okay. Quick. Try and use some of my other powers tonight. Ah, roots. <laughs> my old standby roots. All right, so we're gonna fight through these soldiers. I think it's fairly, fairly straightforward so far. Anyway, we're gonna look through these uh, schematics. What the map looks like. Okay, this is uh, not a giant map. Wild growth again. Make sure everybody gets uh, regeneration and uh, resistance. I'm going to use carrion creepers. There we go. I don't think this is a defeat all. Oh. Maybe you just have to find these schematics. I don't know. Turn on my entangling aura. So far, so good with our endurance. Let's see how this goes. Huh. I hear something glowing. Trap sprung. Uh oh. To a trap. There we go. Look at that, he's already held. Did he good? Still some more robots in here, but he didn't light up, so I guess he's okay. Move this over here. That's good. Go 
guns are good too. They're all kind of even level, so it's not that hard right now. I need to boost up the, uh, the difficulty level here on the next mission, maybe. Or not. We're doing pretty good. Oh, that was the end of it. Wow. Okay. That was uh, not bad. Let's see. The map was, yeah, fairly tiny. Okay. That was uh, mission one of nine. Next, we need to um, rescue a scientist who's being held by the uh, council. We got maximum smashing resistance. Okay, rescue the scientist. Okay, another one of these things the robots, I guess, come to life later as we kind of do stuff. Let's uh, use wild growth again. Boost everybody up. So I don't have access to overgrowth or temporary vulnerability. This is a lower, uh, I think it's a level 30, level 25 or 30. Um, okay, so yeah, there, you can boost it up now a little bit. Level 25 and 30 uh, story arc, or task force. So we boosted the level up one. So we need to uh, save these scientists and six generators to destroy. guys. Still no problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this on hold while we do this mission. I think pretty much a case of just find the scientist and uh, fight your way through, find the scientist, destroy these uh, Yeah, then that'll be it. So I'm going to put this on hold for now, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to town on these guys. We're down here in these uh, caves. We're going to an elevator down below the uh, place we're at. And these are the, uh, those are the generators. And we got the scientist, and we are done. One big room, but uh, not a big problem. Archon, Archon uh, Burkholder is angry. All right, well, good. Good for him. He's the main bad guy we're going to be fighting here in the last mission. That's the end of uh, mission number two. Now we're going to do a series of four uh, uh, destroy, eliminate uh, radar stations. Okay. Oops. There's going to be four of these, uh, I guess, spaced all around the, uh, this part of the map. Let's see where we're headed to. Okay, I think it's going to be mainly taking place around this mountain and stuff. Oops. Someone's hitting me. I think it was those, uh, those turrets. So, yeah, so we're going to be mainly, I think it's going to take place around this, this giant uh, volcano thing. Okay, let's see what we got here. Back on. Wild growth. Use this time. I 
used uh, Karen Creepers last time. I had a bunch of them going good. This thing is as thick as fleas. That's actually saying the thickest thick as thieves, not fleas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Need to spend less time in playing games and more time in school. This is entangling. That's it? Wow. Okay. This entangling uh, aura thing is really, really good. Looks like we're done. Okay. That was, uh, <laughs> that was the end of the radar station. Radar station number two. Point nine miles. So, yeah. We're going to go all around this volcano, it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to put this on pause while I travel across country here and uh, come back when I get to the inside of the next mission. Be right back. Okay, apparently all these uh, all these radar stations are uh, one room each. So I think we'll go through pretty quickly for the rest of the team to get here. Do my wild growth and open the door. Very good job of that today. <laughs> That's it. Already? Holy smokes. You got a good recipe though. Let's see here. What do you get? I'm the last one left. Oops. Okay, so I am going to uh, put this back on hold. I don't think we need to see uh, the third and the fourth radar station, so I'm going to go ahead and skip those two and uh, just know that uh, uh, we are doing those. If something happens, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, turn the thing back on, but I think they're, they're going to be just like this. So I will be back when we're finished with all these radar stations. We're on to the next uh, mission. I'll be right back. Okay, we just finished the last of the radar missions, radar type missions. So the next thing we need to do is find the info in the robot attack. This is mission number seven out of nine. Okay, another travel across. Yeah, we've been traveling uh, all over this thing. We're all back and forth and stuff, as I kind of expected, but that's okay. Because the missions have been taken seriously like less than five minutes each, those uh, radar ones anyway. Let's see what they have in store for us. So anyway, so this uh, Archon Burkhalter has been building these mech men, these, these, uh, these giant robots that we've been fighting. And they want to create a whole race of these robot creatures that can you know, take over all of Paragon City. So we're trying, to, we're trying to put a stop to him so he can't create these super robot things that can be much more powerful and you know, kind of like the Sentinels and the X-Men and stuff. So that's the basic plot. Back of the same uh, same looking map. Anyway, let's use wild growth on everyone. Okay. Get my life giving spores. Of, uh, a lot of fly traps around here. Whoops.
spores. Some of them just not been so great very yet, and uh, also there are, our XP has not really gone up very high yet either. <laughs> That's only fair. So we have to, uh, two computers to hack at once and move the generator. So the, the, the hacking at once may be a little difficult. Maybe a little bit of coordination. I remember that in the game uh, many years ago, when the first, first game, they had quite a few missions like that where you had to, you know, have a coordinated uh, uh, system where players had to do the same thing exactly at the same time. And, uh, a lot of times in different parts of the, of the base, and it was really difficult. I think they did away with most of that, so I mean, probably the difficulty is a little bit. And it used to have to be exact, too. I mean, like, definitely exact. I'm sure they changed that part. Ravens in there. Tried to even level guys for the most part here, so. So we're just racing through here. I will uh, put this on hold till we find these, these computers and we have to do our hacking stuff. I will be right back. Okay, look at we're close to the end. This may be the final move. So there's Archon Gavin. Looks like some type of computer room. Two computers to hack at once. Going down this way. The high little guy, okay. Lay this down. Lay that down. Keep everyone happy and healthy. Pick that back up. Oh, we just kind of went around in a circle. Let's pass the hallway back here. Let's see what's going down here. Oh, here we go. Okay. I 
big. This is the last big room. Carrying creepers in here. Those things are pretty, pretty amazing. You can kind of let them go and uh, let them do their do their magic. Maybe the other computer right there. There's a computer right in there. I can't touch it yet. Oh, there's another. Oh, okay. There's, these are the two computers. I guess they don't have to be done at the same time. <laughs> yep, I guess they got rid of the same time business. All right. So now uh, we, the next mission we have to do is uh, find intel on the mech men. Hmm. Maybe that's the same thing as defeat all vic villains in sector. Sometimes these, uh, the names get changed over time. Or maybe they add an extra mission. I, don't know, I thought that same thing last, last week. Uh, I thought they added an extra mission. They just changed the title, though. It's a defeat all, so he won't show the whole thing. They are definitely going to get their money's worth out of these uh, cave assets. Let's keep using it over and over and over again. All right, so we're going to just defeat all. How big is this map going to be? It'll be good sized. All right, so I'm going to put this on hold again. And uh, we are finished defeating all the villains on the map in the sector. Then uh, I will be right back. All right, well, that was the end of that one. That, uh, it wasn't too bad. The map, uh, we were pretty quick. So let's see what they say next. The next one, I, according to my note, the last one should be the last one. Take out the Archon Burkholder. But, you know, maybe they added one. Nope, that's it. Defeat Archon Barker. So the last one uh, replaced the name Find Intel on the Mech Men. Okay. So uh, let's see. Where are we going? Up there. Okay. Ah, the top of the uh, volcano. Well, that's pretty cool. I think there'd be a little bit of dirt or trees or something up here, though. Oh, wow, okay. Here we go. Here we go. It's like a James Bond base. Let's wait for everyone so I can get my uh, wild growth on everyone. Oh, 
almost there. Maybe not. <laughs> Okay. Go oh, the boss man. Let's see what this map looks like. Yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, this is like the uh, the vampire map thing. Boss man be a uh, elite boss, or will he be a uh, a um, well, uh, heck, I'm losing it. It's, uh, not a super villain. Is it super villain, maybe it is. Spores down here. I guess it didn't need to. <laughs> oh, we're going down deeper. I wonder if we have the, the swing pool room. Okay, here we go. This is something a little different. shot by somebody. So pretty low level guys though. Oh, there's a one of those ascendant crews. Okay, these guys are a little tougher. I'm carrying three people here too. The Ascendant Archons can, um, they get their shields up and then you can't affect them at all. So you gotta really get them confused and then, uh, uh, held as quickly as possible. Once they get those shield things up, man, they, you're just, you know, you're just kind of killing time until they, they finally come back down. The Ascendant Archon. Uh-oh, I got stunned. Ah! I remember this map from um, another mission. I haven't played it in a long time. I can't remember which one it was. It was uh, something with the um, 
uh, bifurcation. I'm going to fight some guy and, uh, and you know, there's a, a, a message would come up on the screen that prepare for bifurcation. I mean, the, the, the bad guy was going to squeak it to him himself. It was a hard mission when it, when it first came out. It was really hard. Because he was kept splitting into um, clones of himself. So he kept splitting in terms of... You know, suddenly you fight one guy, then suddenly you get two and four and then eight. Like, holy moly. That was way back in the day. I think it was a very similar map to this. Guys up here. Up here, yes, more guys up here. Oh. Tearing creepers on everybody, tearing creepers for all. I've turned the mushrooms on their heads, too. <laughs> Just <laughs> keep them occupied a little bit. Make them harder to hit me. Oh, here, here he is. Here's the boss man. Good, I'm gonna turn on this. Put in life saving spores. A bit. Put the mushrooms on his head. We can eat. So we got this guy deep up pretty good. He's got a whittling down. Hitting with a lot of stuff. Helpers, but that's, that's almost it. That's it. 52 minutes. That's really not bad. All right. Find the mission exit. Oh. Let's see. Oh, we got bonus reward. Bear. This is the uh, the weekly strike force. Oh, 20, we got self-destruct. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Let me out of here. Oh, shoot. Self-destruct. <laughs> That's a little last minute <laughs> surprise. All right. Well, that is it. That is the Ernesto Hess uh, task force. Let's see what, we, what our badge things looks like. All right, we got all those. Urkholter's uh, Bane. That's what. That's what we got. So that's going to do it for us. That is. Uh, that is that one. So until next time, this is Greg two nine four zero seven, along with Termite, our plant and nature controller, saying farewell, and we will see you next time.